why wasn't we the kids from the town homes? Nine shooting up and down like the Dow Jones. Pounds thrown, black fifths leave a body laying. Lead a playground stiff, ain't nobody playing. Got he spraying up strips, dudes hard stopping. Man, you better not slip, dudes hard rocking. Bars locking in, 23 a day sickly. If I'm a hey, yo, LAZ, if you want to collab or you need some music promo. Send me a DM at the Real Saint Laz on Instagram, you heard? Or text this number right here. Get at me, Z Lord. Hey yo, shout out to Bro Millie Capo. Shout out to whole BK. If you from BK, get in them comments. Let me know what part of Brooklyn you rapping. You heard? I'm starting this new series called Surviving Virginia. You heard a lot of y'all love that last out of town series I did. Surviving North Carolina, we keeping it cooking with this surviving Virginia joint. I should have been started this because I got mad Virginia content on the channel. But I'm gonna put all of them Virginia stories in one playlist on this surviving Virginia series. You heard so if you from VA out there, make sure you comment, gang out, get in them comments. Let me know what part of VA you repping. You heard shout out to my bro Truth Parker currently locked down in va you heard and all my virginia peoples holla at me we gonna get this series jumping z-man suicide polo get at me you know boom this get the throwing at me say i dive behind the other seat that i had the nigga sitting in as i duck i say um say nigga you ducking from a bitch i tell myself nigga, you ducking from a bitch nigga i say one two three i try to lift up when i try to lift up she bend my ass boom but when she spin me i see the back of the nigga dreads when she hit me so i squeeze boom one shot go off but i'm squeezing so fast this shit jimmy up after the first shot fix the shit on my clothes i'm trying to fix it i get the shit to jump forward boom I try to squeeze on a nigga again and shit don't do nothing. I said, damn, we're gonna die in this bitch. What, what, what okay. happened that you got? Where, where you caught that case at? I caught the case in VA. Remember, I was telling you last time. So, like, I was only back in VA for like a couple days. Like, I was only back in VA maybe, shit, two, three days when it, matter of fact, probably wasn't even that long because. I think we spent New Year's, matter of fact, because this happened on January 4th for my mom's birthday. It's a crazy thing. Like, happened on my mother's birthday, January 4th. We was we was in Virginia on New Year's. Like, we just had got back from Miami. So, um, when we got back or whatever, you know, this, this back at the time, like, the crew that I was running with was some legendary niggas, you know what I mean? Like... Oh um, shit! I don't know if you remember that little stint that was going on, like probably about five, ten years ago, when niggas had the no fly zone, when niggas was pressing down on niggas. <laughs> remember, um, one of the OGs uh, from from over there, Rich Crip Magic. Remember when he had pressed down on Lil Wayne when Lil Wayne got to LA? There was a lot of other, you know. You know, niggas putting a lot of other pressure down on niggas in Atlanta. You know, all the way up to New York, niggas had kind of organized while I was gone. You know, like real niggas united and, you know, niggas wasn't really having. You know how that shit go. But anyway, this the crew I was running with. A nigga, you know, my brody by the name Jack Boy. They call him K-Dog. He actually um, managed the nigga uh, Jay Green, the nigga that... Um, the young nigga that uh, used to run with YMW Melly, that was yeah. um, and we, we, we used to be in a group with him. But um, Dog managed him now. But this who is who I'm running with, and me and his first cousin, my nigga Luck, Master So, we was the youngest niggas. You know what I mean? And um, it end up, you know, at you know, we got a lot of other niggas that we run with all across the you know all across the board niggas that get to it and we was a little bit everywhere but we was the niggas that wanted to take money you see what i'm saying like we like fuck it we gotta bring an equilibrium sign plus it was easier you know in brooklyn we started off robbing first niggas you know niggas was robbing before nigga you see what i'm saying was a teenager you know that was the, the first shit because we used to say death to the dope fiend because everybody mom was getting high you know what i mean like niggas you know as we was real young we kind of looked down on that drug dealing shit niggas just stealing and robbing you know so anyway 
that's what we ended up getting into the extortion robbery game you know we was on that you know and um when that when that ended up happening one of our people that was still in VA he ended up putting us down on some mind you now we just was there in VA probably like a year prior and we had tore VA up like I'm talking about every single day I got there like June something of um this was 2003 June something my nigga we, like every day was a movie you know what I mean like every day was like a Hollywood flick like you know it was turned up cause the gang shit had just got to Virginia really like that and that shit was turned up there was a lot of niggas out there getting hella paper you know what I mean and we was on niggas asses straight up like you know what I mean like we was on niggas you know what I mean and um you know, uh, I ain't really gonna go into a lot of different names and shit, cause, uh, you know, even though a lot of them niggas is police, a lot of niggas are rats and everything, but, you know, just for the sake, I ain't gonna, you know, put a lot of niggas, you know, but me and my niggas was holding it down. Boom. Fast forward, last, uh, you know, niggas had got away from the robbing, you know, it was a lot of different niggas almost dying, shootings, a lot of, a lot of wild shit happened. The, the previous time we was in Virginia. So we ended up leaving, going to PA, and I had just came back from Ohio, so now we on our hustling shit, you know, cause our niggas get to it, now we hustling. You know, that shit worked for almost a year. Niggas, man, niggas got back on that robbery shit, you know, you know, so we end up coming to VA. When we came to VA, a nigga had put us on to a fool, to a nigga, you know what I mean? Niggas like, yo, this nigga had lost 10,000, you see what I'm saying? We at the joint where these niggas gambling at. <laughs> Nigga lost 10,000. Went to the, you know, he lost 10,000. Bet another 10,000. Went to the car, got 8,000. Lost that. So, nigga, and he was like, oh, that's enough for the day. So, my man, like, who the fuck is boy? Like, you know, we kind of know everybody that, you know, kind of getting to it on that level. Like, this nigga just lost. Then at 30K in under five minutes. He said, that's enough for the day. So, Make a long story short, they on them. You see what I'm saying? So they do their intel, whatever, whatever. They run the intel of us. You know what I mean? So mind you now, by the time we get there, before we go to Miami, we make a stop in VA. Boom. We come check the track on the situation with, uh, that they putting us on with, with boys. So it's crazy. As they giving us the low on the nigga, we pull up at the nigga shit, just casing the joint, making sure they information checking out. The nigga walk up, <laughs> you know what I mean? The nigga walk up, so nigga had to kind of play it off. Niggas wasn't ready, you know how that shit be. You know, nigga caught niggas off guard, so nigga kind of played it off. Um, my bro, he like, yo, Dre, you don't know, no weed at, uh, you know, he like, but the nigga closed the gate. We couldn't like get to him to kind of handle our business anyway. So, oh, niggas tripping about that shit. We like, fuck it, we end up going to Miami. So. This was this was like some weeks before New Year's, you know what I mean? So we ended up shooting on MIA. We out there wilding. Um, actually, our peoples had something to do with writing shots. So we was doing a celebration. We was at a, a, a big barbecue at Liberty City that they for the celebration of shots, you know, for for it being successful. So we out there, you know, with the with the other elders and shit. Boom. So we end up coming back. So as soon as we get back, we like, yo, shit, we're going to go get that food in Virginia. Then we're going to keep it moving. We're going to go back doing our little one-two hustling thing, PA, Ohio, et cetera, et cetera. So when we get back and shit, now this is the funny shit. I got to tell you this part, though, man, because like, this is the wild shit. When when I um, get back, it's about to be New Year's. Me and Brody, me and, me and Master Self, he, me and Luck, he, he, we fall asleep. You know, like we've been beating the road up. We just drove back from my hand. Niggas tired. Boom, we miss New Year's. So we wake up in the morning. We like, damn, we ain't letting no hammers off night. We like, fuck it. So we drove. And it's crazy. I end up giving my parabellum to uh, Desmond, which is my bro and them uncle in Miami. Because we joking. We When we in Miami, this nigga got smoke. He got some bullshit ass hammers. Jen Jennings and shit like that. We like, nigga, I don't use them. Like... You know, so I had a parabellum. So I'm like, fuck it, I get a nigga my parabellum. I'm like, bro, go get me a next one. Like, I ain't tripping. I get a nigga my parabellum. 
So I, but when we end up coming back, when our other guys, you know, out of our main niggas, he went back home to Texas for a second. But when he went home to Texas, I just used this hammer till I grabbed another one. So I'm using his shit, and he had this that Smith and Wesson shit, the one that Smith and Wesson sued Glock over. I mean, Glock sued Smith and Wesson over. You know what I mean? Like the shit, little fake Glock shit is bullshit though. You know. So on um, that morning when we went to go shoot after New Year's, Brody got the Ruger. See this before the Glocks was flowing. You know, Rugers was kind of the thing thing around that time. You know, Glocks was coming in play, but niggas was using the Rugers a lot. You know, so. And Parabellums, I used to love the Parabellum. But, um, so when we shooting in the morning, son, yo, bro, shit, he letting the, uh, P, um, he had a P95, I think. He letting that shit go. <sighs> my shit shooting, but it's hesitating. Well, it's not even my shit, bro, gun that I'm holding. The Smith & Wesson bullshit. That shit hesitating, though. Bop! I'm squeezing, squeezing. Bop! Squeezing. I'm like, yo, this shit is crazy, like. I'm like, yo, this should have get a nigga killed. But I already knew that about them guns because my brother, Buju, he had bought one years ago on uh, um, NVA. He had bought one and took it back up top and got into some shit. He called me wilding me up like, yo, yo, what's up with this? You see what I'm saying? This shit could have got a nigga killed. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. So I already was, already was on them shit. So anyway, fast forward. We back now. We on the job, but it's like we a little bit leery about the joint because we like, damn son, seen niggas. But one thing about me and my Brody, like we go back to back, like two banana clips, like that shit ain't about nothing. So when our older bro, you know what I mean, he telling us like, yo man, fuck that, let's bust a maneuver. We go over there, we lay like we do. You know, I get in the trash can. You see what I'm saying? My monkey suit, bro, lay up under the porch. You see what I'm saying? Boom. So we laying on this nigga for mad long. But the nigga end up coming. You see what I'm saying? And the funny shit is, all I seen was the nigga lights, the halogen lights. And, I, and um, yeah, I seen the halogen light. And he got out because the nigga, this the wild shit. <laughs> you had a lot of niggas out there that was fake West Indian niggas. Like, so... We don't even know this nigga not even really West Indian. This nigga is straight nigga from Virginia. <laughs> but we figure this nigga West Indian because he got the whole body, got the long dreads, and you would think this nigga fresh from the yard. Like, so, boom, when the nigga get out playing play reggae music and shit, he don't even know I'm already on him, on the nigga. My Brody, when he draw down on him, he draw down on something from a distance. You know what I mean? He draw down on him from a distance. So the nigga, he think he getting away, but he don't even know I'm on his ass. You know what I mean? So, like, I grab him. Boom, he try to run, I grab his ass. Boom, boom. Get a nigga some get right, cause he he, he doing a little bit too much. Bop, bop. Give him some get right, come on. Bop. Take the nigga to the joint, play with the keys, mop him up a little bit more, he get the keys up. Boom, go in the joint. You know what I mean? But mind you now, I knew the nigga bitch was in there. We knew the broad was in the joint. You know what I'm saying? We knew she was in there, but at the end of the day, it's a female. Like, nigga ain't really, you know, can't hurt no mind. Like, niggas, you know, at this time, my mentality, like, I would straight take a gun from, like, like, I ain't worried about no female. You see what I'm saying? So, as we get in the joint, you know, Dude is so scared, it's like he trying to crawl out of his skin. Like, I don't know if you ever seen a nigga that scared, like, you know, a nigga, a nigga trying to crawl out of his skin, bro. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> like, so the nigga, he ended up, uh, ended up sitting him down, boom, boom. So I'm like, yo, Judd, just cool yourself, cool yourself, Judd. Yo, just where the money, where the money, boom. So he jump up, like, I'm gonna, all right, um, I'll take you to the money, bro. Bro thinking the same shit I'm thinking. Bro, box him. Bro, nigga, you think a nigga's stupid? Like, because you could just tell, like, this nigga, he gonna try something. Because he, he's so scared. It's like, I don't know if he more scared about us or he more scared about what's gonna happen to him after we take this shit. You see what I'm saying? So, after he tell us where the bread at, we call Brody. Like, yo, we got the dread. We got him. Boom. So, 
after bro make the phone call, he run upstairs. So as he run upstairs, I hear pop, pop, pop. <laughs> like that's all I hear. I'm like, oh shit, this nigga I shot the bitch. Like, you know, so he come back down the stairs. When he coming back down the stairs, it's like Brody hitting every step, like <laughs> and he get like into the middle. Like, 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 almost down the stairs, and he flip over the banister. You see, what I'm saying when he flip over the banister, I'm like, oh shit! I go to reach for him. When I go to reach for him, he kind of push me out the way and dive on the dread. You see, what I'm saying when he dive on the dread, I go to peek. I go to peek on the side to, to you know, boom, bitch, get the throwing at me. You see, what I'm saying yo, no bullshit though, lads. I'm laughing though, like. You know, like the mentality I had at that age, like this shit was funny to a nigga. I'm like, oh, 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 you see what I'm saying? I died behind the up the seat that I had the nigga sitting in. I'm like, oh, I'm gonna smoke this bitch. So I'm like, I, 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 I end up getting myself shot for real because as I duck, I say, um, say, nigga, you ducking from a bitch. I tell myself, nigga, you ducking from a bitch, nigga. I say, one, two, three. I try to lift up. When I try to lift up, she bend my ass. Boom. But when she spin me, I see the back of the nigga dreads when she hit me. So I squeeze. Boom. One shot go off. But I'm squeezing so fast, the shit jimmy up after the first shot. So now, the shit done jammed up. Now I'm trying to... Um, fix the shit on my clothes. I'm trying to fix it. I get the shit and jump forward. Boom. I try to squeeze on the nigga again. The shit don't do nothing. I said, damn, we're going to die in this bitch. So now I'm running around. First, I try to get to the window. I try to bust the window with the gun. But now I'm feeling the effects from the bullet because the shit done went through my brachial plex, my main nerves, everything. So, like, it's like the, every time I move, it's just like dead weight, like I'm falling, you know. So I'm trying to break the window. I can't break that shit. Boom. So now I'm running around. I go to the doorknob. It felt like the doorknob broke. You know what I mean? I'm like, oh shit. So now I'm I'm, I'm moving around. Boom. I go to bro, where bro at. Bro right here. He fucking the dread up. He punching on a bump bump bump. He just boxing on a nigga. So I'm like, all right, bro, got there. I gotta find us an exit out this motherfucker. Boom. So now it shit is it's kind of chaotic. I gotta tell myself. I I never forget. I said to myself, I'm like, yo, Mills, calm the fuck down, nigga. Like, you or you gonna die in this bitch. Like, boom. As soon as I did that, I went back to the door. No, when I get back to the door, no, I, I grabbed that shit and pushed it in. What happened was the nigga had a child safety lock, and if you know the child safety lock, shit be feeling like. This shit broke, but you know what I mean? You gotta actually put this shit on and push it in. You see what I'm saying? So, end up getting the shit open, getting the door open. So, as I, I got the door open, I broke <laughs> bro, boxing on the nigga. But mind you now, I don't even know. My bro shot up. He hit up too. You see what I'm saying? So, he, he getting tired, I guess. So, as when I get the door open, I'm about to go back for him. He like, all right, Dre, you got it, Dre. You caught a police dread. You see what I'm saying? When he say that, you, cause, but the dread wasn't doing shit to him. It's just like, you know, when you're in the midst of shit happening, it's like if a nigga just holding on to you, it feel like a nigga putting the weight of the world on you. You know what I mean? Because he hit up. He hit up three times. So when he say that, the dread let him go. And he come behind me. You know what I mean? So I dive out. Nigga falling to the floor. Pop into the car like belly. You see what I'm saying? Like when meth got hit in belly, that's some nigga trying to get to this motherfucking car. Cause I know I'm like, oh shit, so Brody um end up coming behind me, bomb. You know what I mean? Bro um end up helping that nigga to the car. Whatever, whatever. So now niggas had to drive ourselves, bomb. So when we get to the hospital now, there ain't nobody out there to get us at that. We drive to a hospital all the way far out and shit. Boom. So the whole time, I knew when I I knew when I shot, I had to shoot the nigga, cause you know, like like we we ain't nothing but like four feet away from each other. You know what I mean? I know when I got that shot, I had to hit the nigga. So I'm like, damn, that nigga shot too. That's why we end up going to the other hospital with the hopes that you know we are, we gonna be at two separate hospitals. When we get there, or whatever. Boom. When we get to the joint, ain't nobody out there. So. I had to, uh, I'm already fucked up, me and Brody, 
you know what I mean, had to try to get my bro inside the motherfucking hospital so we get him in there or whatever, because he was dying on the way to the joint. Bro, like, son, I'm dying. I can't, because he got hit right there by his heart. He got hit in his, um, like, in his main artery, his leg, his heart, and his arm. So he, on our way there, he like, son, I'm dying. Dying. So I'm like, nah, nigga, stay up. Like, stay up. Like, you know, because I always knew when you get shot, you got to just stay calm and shit. You see what I'm saying? I know the more you panic, that shit would kill you, you know? So, but uh, we end up getting to the hospital. When we got there, we go in, ain't nobody there. So, you know, anytime a nigga get shot above the waist, they call homicide just in case a nigga die. You know what I mean? On self, so, what part of VA was this again? This, this was in, um, it was in Norfolk, Virginia, but we drive to the hospital in Virginia Beach. You know what I mean? Yeah, we go to the um to the to the uh, hospital in Virginia Beach. It's 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 like this um little hospital called Saint Terrace on Independence and um it's on Independence. That's the street, Independence. And while we in the hospital, homicide come. So when homicide get there or whatever, now um when they initially come in and they look broke, you know, broke fucked up. You see what I'm saying? Like, but but this is the wild shit though, last. <laughs> so, you know, I'm a young nigga at that time. I don't know about trauma units and shit like that. You see what I'm saying? I don't know now, you know, as a as a elder, I know now, you know, about a lot of shit. I mean, if I'd have known what I know now, nigga would have never went to jail behind this shit. You see what I'm saying? So anyway, boom. Um when the homicide come in there. The first thing they do, they looking at a nigga because bro fucked up, so bro can't really, you know what I mean? So they down on me because I'm the calm one, you know, even though I'm in pain, I'm in and out, I'm the one that's a little bit more conscious. So when they come over there fucking with me, they looking at nigga tattoos. When they look at my tattoo, they see the one tattoo I got, they go over to bro, they see bro got the same tattoo. So I hear the nigga clearly say, um, yeah some blood gang members we investigating them for a double homicide you know what i mean so when he say that you know what i mean he was like oh yeah i already know who they is bop 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 that nigga start going through my shit you see what i'm saying like he going through my shit so as the nigga going through my shit now and i say something to him like yo how you going through my stuff what up whatever whatever nigga going through my stuff so when he pulled my what's the name out he pulled um he pulled a wallet out Initially, I'm thinking, you know, um, so the nigga like, who wild is this? Well, I'm like, that's my shit. So, initially, I'm really thinking it's my shit, though. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? But this the wild shit, though, man. Remember when I told you when a nigga tried to bend me off and run, I end up catching the nigga, grabbing the nigga. So, I know the nigga be strapped, too. So, we be, you know, we, like, we already, the niggas told us the nigga be having a gun, so... Like, I'm looking for the gun on a nigga. You know what I mean? So, I, I like, the way I, I, I'm, i like, got the nigga, like, the way the police have a nigga. So, I'm not really paying attention what the nigga was giving me. I'm just putting shit in my back pocket. You know what I'm saying? I ain't even paid. Matter of fact, because, yeah, I took the nigga, whatever he gave me, I'm going to put the shit in my back pocket. gave me some bread. I passed that to bro. You know what I mean? And, you know, I was just basically trying to keep the drop on a nigga, you know, without losing focus. So, anyway, the whole time... I end up getting a nigga wallet. I don't even know that. You see what I'm saying? So when we in there and the police is looking through the shit, you for one they ain't had no business going through my shit, but you know, they violated a nigga, went through my shit, and they asking me who up. So I'm like, what? Who? They they like, well, who? Ashton Day. I'm like, Ashton Day. I'm like, yo, fuck fuck are you talking about? Like then they showed me the shit boom. I'm like, I planted that shit on me, tripping, man. Planted that shit on me, you know. I get the wilding on them. So, at, in the process of me wilding on them, like, like we need attention. Like, this this hospital can't do, you know what I mean? This shit not no trauma unit, you know what I mean? So, <laughs> now they telling us, they got to ship us. They telling the police, like, yo, I got to ship them. I mean, like, you can't even talk to them no more. You got to he got to go. We got to figure out how to get them to the other trauma unit, you know what I mean, before they die. Like, so now they 
Russian niggas, you know what I mean? I, at first, they was about to use a chopper or something um, to get niggas there, but then they end up putting us in ambulances, and they shot us to the other joint. Now, this is the wild shit. Mind you now, this is the only trauma unit. Matter of fact, I think now they got more than just that joint being a trauma unit, but at this particular time, that's like the only trauma unit in Norfolk, Virginia Beach, Portsmouth, Chesapeake, like this the only trauma center. You know what I mean? So, boom, when we get there, <laughs> homicide from Virginia Beach, they there, but Norfolk homicide there also. You know how these niggas is? They get to talking. This, this is my assumption right here though, last, like I'm assuming this is what happened because of the next shit that happened. I'm, I'm assuming that they got the, oh, matter of fact, um, in the pre-sentence report too, in our pre-sentence report, this, they said this. So they, when they got there, they seen the other um, homicide from Norfolk, they get to talking. Uh, he, what you doing here? What you doing here? Oh, oh. he like, yeah, I got a gunshot victim. Oh, he like, yeah, man, I got two gunshot victims. Oh, oh. So he said, man, damn, it's funny. You got two gunshot victims because my gunshot victim, he said that it was two other guys, you know, that uh, ran up on him, whatever, whatever, kidnapped him, took him in the house, boom, 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 and all the gunfire erupted or whatever. And he said he think they were shot also, you know. So now they on it, ding, ding, ding. they on it. So what I remember is when I'm in surgery, cause I was out for two days. Like I just remember waking up in between, you know what I mean, in increments and every, I woke up twice. One of the times I woke up during surgery, I remember throwing up, puking, you know what I mean? I was puking real bad, you know what I mean? I guess due to the fact that, um, they had to put nigga through immediate surgery. And you know how they tell you not to eat, you know what I mean, for a certain amount of time before you had surgery, you know, they ain't had time to do that. So I guess I was throwing up everything or whatever. So I remember waking up then, and then I remember waking up another time with a black, this other black cop, that nigga was standing over me. Oh, I'ma get your ass, I got you now. Uh, 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 yeah, I'm trying to you with attempt murder. Like he going in crazy. Man, I went back to sleep on that nigga. <laughs> like, the fuck out of here like go to sleep on a nigga boom when i wake up it's mad police like wild police probably like seven eight cops in this motherfucker like it's like four of them in my room like three four more outside my room you know what i mean and i'm handcuffed to the bed and my other arm is like fucked up but it's like i feel my whole upper body like it's like everything is wild so but pause no homo my swipe my my man is hurting i'm like yo the fuck like now i'm, I'm thinking something happened that i get shot now you know down there but it, it ended up being when they put the catheter in your shit you know what i mean that shit was that was the shit that hurt worse than anything them niggas gang i had like 300 staples all up and down my arm they had to take the blood vessel out of my leg and put it in my chest and my arm you know what i mean so all up and down my leg, my shit stapled up, all all up under my shoulder, to my shoulder, up under my arm, all the way to my motherfucking shoulder, it stapled up. You know what I mean? So the cops in there, I get to immediately, oh, you know, now, like, I'm cursing these niggas out, you know? Because these niggas acting real, real funny. Like, so I'm cursing these niggas out, calling them all kinds of dick eating, you know, wilding on them, you know, just because they was immediately disrespectful of the giddy. You know what I mean? It wasn't even like they was just like they was trying to do their job. Niggas was being assholes. And they want my moms would have me tight. But I seen my moms and my aunt and they outside of the joint. Like, you know, they wanna even let my mom. You know, now I understand, but back at them times, as a young nigga, I didn't get it. You see what I'm saying? Like, like fuck can't let my mother you know but i get it now but anyway fast what you mean forward, they wouldn't mom, let your moms come back there to see yeah you? they wouldn't let her yeah she had to hunt my aunt they had to you know they had to wave but you know i know that fed her speech me and my mom would be like that made her know because when she seen you, all i did was shrug my shoulders like man you know like my here i go again like <laughs> you know she was just good to see a nigga alive you know what i mean but I'm gonna tell you what saved my life though, last on some real shit. 
when I used to come to Virginia, like I always be getting this shit. And that's why my mom used to be sending me back to New York because my mom's a merchant seaman. And she brought me, you know, me and my brother out here for a better life. Like my mom's the strongest woman I know. Like my mom, she is ill. Like, you know, we come from a time, you, know, you remember in New York last, like niggas don't be knowing the trauma in the way New York City was in the 80s, like in the late, in the early 90s. I be trying to explain to niggas. It, it, niggas don't. I be trying to tell my other niggas, like from other states. Yo, we used to have caps everywhere, empties. Remember last? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Just empties everywhere you walk. Everybody' parents was getting high. It was like it was the it was it was like abnormal if your mother didn't get high. You know, you know how this shit was. Like shit was crazy back then. But my mom was so strong. Like you know. She when she quit when she shipped that shit she ain't never relapsed on it. She went got my uncle was doing emergency and shit. She went got her life together on just for her kids. You know what I mean? Cause like we was going through it. Me I'm going house to house. You know I was just wing worms in my head and all kinds of wild shit. You see what I'm saying? Like you know like nigga with kid. You know she know her kids being neglected. My other brothers and them they father. You know what I mean? My brother and my sister. My other brother, I said, yeah, she was just crazy. So she knew it wasn't no, like, she had to tighten up. And, you know, I just never seen that. Like, she never relapsed, never even thought about it. You see what I'm saying? Like, you know, and just moved on and, and tried to give us a better life. But she not knowing what this Virginia shit was, was, ten, was what I would say, way worse because it was just so much drug activity. You know what I mean? It was just so much drug activity and you got niggas from all over the planet over this motherfucker. You know what I mean? So it's like, it was just, it, she just was crazy all, all the way from the beginning. You know what I mean? Hey yo, if this song I'm about to play is hot, send me a cash app donation. Dog man! What's up man? Dog man! Don't say something. Check it out. G, what up? Yeah, nigga. St. Lads, tip of the spear for this independent shit, nigga. Know what I mean? Putting out that true fucking hip hop, nigga. Fuck all these major label niggas, man. Fuck all ARs, nigga. I'm the truth. Ain't nobody fucking with me. True story, nigga. Brownsville, Brooklyn. Hello. I'm here. Hello, darkness, what up? I've come to talk with yo, you. Hey, yo, black skies, cocaine pots full of white rocks. Shorty took five shots. Uh. My block is a portal to the dark side. See the news, oh lord, another cop died. Now the hood so hot, it could fry something. Don't wear your chain, niggas gonna try something. Why wasn't we the kids from the town homes? Nine shooting up and down like a Dow Jones. Pound strong, black fifths, leave a body laying. Lead a playground stiff, ain't nobody playing. Got he spraying up strips, dudes hard stopping. Man, you better not slip, dudes hard rocking. Bars locking in 23 a day, sickly. If I'm a lay man, niggas gonna lay with me. In the grave for the brave, it's an action movie. For the niggas getting paid, better pack a Uzi. Tell a dark hello. Man. Hello. I'm here. Hello, darkness. What up? Yo, here. I'm hey, back. The dark took so many. It's like the old good times, nigga. No penny. Throw Henny in the chest, leave Max empty Fiends looking for a hit like Jack Dempsey Crack friendly, this is hood life certified Will you never see the good life murder ride? Never. Turning five, just five, tits ghetto living With five out of five niggas see a metal prison yeah. Hello living, will the darkness capture me? Will the street life bend, break, fracture me? Uh. After me, who the next thug going crazy? Niggas lead awake talking about a song, baby song. Born baby in the slums, no future for me Eating flow for a day, boy, super hungry. You can hug me, but love ain't living here. Stop fronting like the blood ain't spilling here. Meet my old friend. Cheers. Hello, darkness, my Hello. I found the top of here.
I'm here. Hey yo, sift through the black stairs In my hood, it was shit in the back stairs Nap hairs, white Jesus on the kitchen wall Bullpen set, niggas not pitching balls Less eights, it was great when the checks came Cause we knew we would make it to the next day Sketch spray every day, it's a new drama And the shorties get loose like low mama Who bomber going save in the stick darkness Any nigga talking change is a quick target Kid caucus on the news, mom's terrified Pits barking like the ooze, songs never tried Never lied, sure death in this cold project Dear niggas say money ain't no object Where trigger slay something over more dollars Where nigga lay something over four dollars Meet my old friend, man Hello darkness, my Hello I've come to talk with you I'm here What up? I've come to talk with you. I'm back.